Boom! We're live. It's Chris Igo. I Go Home Group, powered by Rematch Direct. It is 7.32. It is Tuesday the 6th, Election Day. So uh, go out there, make your vote count, exercise your constitutional right, and psh, go out there and exercise also. You'll feel great. Uh, more importantly, it is Get Some Tuesday. <clears throat> and what does that mean? It means we're going to get on the phone here. We are going to pound uh, this list of expired and canceled uh, <clears throat> listings. We are gonna connect with the uh, the home sellers who have been on the market and their agent failed them. So we're going to, uh, we're gonna go reach out, offer them a, uh, a valuable service and uh, we're gonna end up getting them more money than they ever thought possible than any other method of selling. So um, let's, there are 25 records to call uh, right now that have expired today. My whole deal is I like to be the first to connect with them uh, because they are going to be pounded um, shortly, <clears throat> if not already. So rather than continue to talk, uh, let's start dialing. <clears throat> and let's see here. So a couple cool things that are happening. I was recently uh, I was recently interviewed by my real estate uh, coach, mentor, friend, uh, Joshua Smith, and that podcast should air this week it may be today i don't know but be on the lookout for that i'm sure i will uh well i will definitely um have links to it in here when it does drop and um and i'm really i mean just totally honored totally grateful super uh psyched <clears throat> excited um it's amazing i was really really nervous <laughs> but nonetheless uh here we go there are 24 records one is going to be filtered out and as always, my process is such that I'm uploading the Vulcan data into, into the Mojo dialer and then um, using the triple line dialer to, uh, to force multiply my effectiveness. So <coughs> without any further ado, away we go. Fortunately, my kids are on their way to school, so they will not be distracting me here at the home office. Your touchstone phone, please enter your PIN number. Your PIN number can be found in the dialing. You are now logged into the Mojo Dialer. Please press the start button on your screen to begin calling. Start button, but I need a pad to write on. Thank you for calling the office of Dr. Stephen Pally. Our office is currently closed. If this is a life-threatening emergency, Please hang up and dial 911. It is a life-threatening emergency in as much as I mean, <laughs> it's an emergency that I connect with you to help you get more money than you ever thought possible selling your home because I do business completely different than anybody else out there. <clears throat> All right. So one down, 23 more to go. 7.35. Wakey, wakey. Have some coffee. Uh, did you? Hello, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing had expired in the MLS. I was curious, how on earth did the property not sell? Oh, you know what? Uh, you gotta call Diego Suarez. I don't know who gave me. Give you my name, but call Diego Suarez. Oh, okay, yeah. So I didn't realize. Now, do you have his number? He's the owner. Yeah, he's the owner. Do you, Do you know his phone number? Yeah, five six one. Mhm. Twenty one forty. Thank you very much. Now I'll take you off the list so you don't get any more phone calls. But I do have a quick question in closing. Do you happen to know anybody else out there thinking about buying or selling real estate that I might be able to help? Be honest. I don't know. I, I don't know. Okay. I have no idea. Are you think are you thinking about moving ever? No. No, okay. Well listen, I appreciate your time. Have a great day, all right? You're welcome. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> I got Diego's number, and away we go. This reading is 
reached Marin and Roderick's medical group. You have used a number that is no longer in. Ah. Uh, what's up, Ernie? How is it? The M and T Bank. For location. How are things out there in your world, Ernie? Are you doing big things? Are you getting shit done? Zero, seven, five, nine, five, one. Uh -uh. So we are just flying through this list. 737. This is like the sweet spot to connect with people, in my opinion. There are those that are afraid to dial this early. And, uh... That's their problem. <clears throat> is this at 800? No. I thought this was an... Hello, this is Chris Igo this with... Is Dr. Re Regina Kaplan, and you have reached the Center for Women's Care. We are now located at 12 Parrot Mill Road in Chatham, New Jersey. We are in the office seeing patients on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Uh, on Tuesday. Uh, I am not interested in... Um... And that, I thought that was an $8.3 million expired, but it was not. It was 835000 And it was a voicemail. Wah, wah, wah. So we are four down. Hello, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing had expired in the MLS. I was curious, how on earth did the property not sell? My, my name is Chris. I'm a, a local realtor, but I, I noticed that your, your property listing had expired. Are you the owner of Beverly Road in West Palm? Is that you? Yes, yes. I'm the owner. Uh, um, yeah, they, they I didn't sell it. This girl didn't sell it, and they want us to start again with, uh, with, um, with them. Yeah, with well, the... So I'm trying to get into a boat line, and this is just getting so crazy here. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so let me ask you this in closing, because it looks like you were on the market there for about 264 days, right? Uh, I'm curious. Did you have any offers on the property while it was listed? Yeah, we have offers for for contractors because they, they the house they think they need to tear down the house. Okay. And that is yes. Or a person who has the time to tear down and rebuild a game. Right. Or that would be, it's not just moving, it's not a moving house. I got it. House. Okay. So let me ask you this. It, now, do, do you live in the property or is this a, uh, a secondary property for you? No. No, we live, we live in the property. We you, live in the property. You do. Okay. Now, when this... I, I want to vote, but not thank you. I don't need it. Thank you. No, no, real yeah. quick in closing, if, if no, you knew, you. just very quickly, if you knew absolutely for certain that by doing business with me, two things would happen. One, the property would sell. Two, you would end up with significantly more money, bottom line, than you could get any other way. Now, I know that's a big promise, but would you at least want to hear more about it? Be honest. Um, yeah, you know, I, I can't talk right now, but um, not, not to, I can't call you back today. This is a very busy day for me. But if um, I can't give you my husband number, sure. then you either try to talk to him. Yeah. If, I'll call him ready now. To yep, I'm ready. What is it? Okay. Uh, is, his name is Marco, M-A-R-C-O. Mm -hmm. And it's for, uh, for, for nine. Oh, yeah, I forget the phone numbers. Um... Let me let me call him and give you his phone number, okay? Because I forget the number. I'm just really yeah. No, I, I'll yeah, I'll hold. Crazy moment. I, no, I get it. I'll, I, listen, I'm sure you're getting a lot of four phone three, calls. Four 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 three six four nine one six. One six. Okay, and that's five six one, right? Yeah. Okay. Very good. I'll I'll call him back now. No problem. Okay. All okay. right. Thank Bye. you. Bye. So, <clears throat> let's call Marco right now. She seemed, <laughs> she seemed very uh, flustered. Hello. 
Hey Marco, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing had expired in the MLS. I was curious, how on earth did the property not sell? Excuse me, who was speaking? Uh, my my name is Chris Igo. I'm with Remax. I'm a local realtor. I I noticed that you had your property for sale on the market, and it it left the market unsold. I was curious, how on earth did the property not sell? Uh, for about nine months. Woo! Did you have any offers while it was listed? Yes. Okay. Were they just not high enough? No, exactly. Okay. Um, now I'm curious. It, it looks like you were on the market for 264 days. Were you getting a lot of activity on the property? Yeah, they make up open houses and all this stuff. But uh, I mean, really, the house is for somebody. You know, they want to build a house. So right. So it's all, it's, it's all house. So it needs to be uh, you know tear it down and build build a new one. Right. Well, okay, let me ask you this. If, if you had sold the property, where were you going next? Uh, right here in, uh, what's the name? Um, Lake Lake Short. Okay, very nice. Well, ju just so you know, I'm with Remax Direct. We've got six offices down here in South Florida. We've sold 15,000 homes since 2008. We're averaging one a day. Um, let me ask you, if you knew absolutely for certain that by doing business with me, two things would happen. Number one, your property would sell. Two, you would end up with significantly more money, bottom line, than you could get any other way. Now, I know that's a big promise, but would you at least want to hear more about it? Be honest. Well, uh, the thing is, it's, it's my ex-wife's house, so yeah. we have to, uh, we need to talk, I just... Matter of fact, ending today, I, oh, no, yesterday, I think. Mm -hmm. So we're going to sit down and talk about it. Because we have another offer outside, uh, you know, outside the market. Okay. Well, so the guy, the guy has come up with a 650. He's come up with a 650. That'd be perfect. Well, that's great. Let me ask you, here's what I'd like to do, okay, and, and follow my thinking here. What I'd like to do, and look, if that works out, that's fantastic. Obviously, if you get the 650, then, then congratulations. You don't need my help. But what I specialize is, is finding the one buyer on planet Earth that's willing to pay more than anybody else. So what I'd like to do is run an analysis on your property as it relates to price, and I'll email that to you. What's your best email address? It's Marco Payton. Marco... Painting, okay. Ink, I Marco Painting, I N C. Got it. Gmail at gmail .com. Okay, and the number that I called you on is it your cell phone number? Yes, sir. Okay, cool. So what I'm going to do when we get off the phone, I'm going to text you my contact information so that you have it. If you would, please save it in your phone. This way, when I call back, you know who I am. And I'm sure you're probably going to get a lot of phone calls today. By the end of the day, you're going to hate realtors. Um, let me ask you this: Is it possible for me to? lay eyes on the property and see if it's something we believe we can get you multiple offers on? No problem. Okay, cool. Do you have, a, I'm looking at my calendar now, do you have availability uh, tomorrow afternoon or evening for me to come by and see the property? Um, let me ask my wife because I don't know if she uh, her schedule. Okay. So, uh, so, I don't know if she, she's home or not. Okay. Let, let me throw this out to you because just so you know, I, I run a high volume business, so I want to ensure that I actually have the time to be able to allocate for you and make sure that I, I can make the appointment. So typically, are the evenings better or afternoons just on a regular basis, if you had to guess? Uh, evening is better, yeah, because my wife works to six and also I work to six too. Okay, so, so why don't we do this? Um, I'm going to pencil you in tentatively for tomorrow at, uh, at seven. And what I'll do is I'll, conf I'll send you the email, I'll send you my text message, I'll follow up tomorrow to just confirm that that works. If there's any issues, let me know. But if not, I'll see you tomorrow at 7, all right? All right. Now let me ask you this, when I do sell the property and get you more money than you ever thought possible, will you do an amazing testimonial and tell everybody what a great job I did? That's no problem. Awesome. I appreciate that, Marco. Okay, so just so there's no confusion, I'm going to hang up. I will text you my contact information. I'll have an analysis sent to you at your email address, Marco Painting Inc. at Gmail, and I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow at 7. All right? All right, man.
Outstanding. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. And that is how you set an appointment. <laughs> oh, man. It really is like shooting fish in a barrel here. Um, all right. So let me print this. Uh, let me print this. Let me send this to Perfect Storm. <clears throat> so I do not lose my data. Let me print this lead. Uh, uh, let me actually... Send him my text message. Choose to print hot sheet. Um, all right, so it's 748, which means that people are going to start. I'm not going to be the only one dialing now. As we get closer to 8, these people are getting pounded. At least I think they are. Okay, Marco painting. I will go there tomorrow and dazzle him with an offer he can't refuse. Um, okay, so let's see. Man, that's not what I wanted. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm sure it's far less entertaining to watch me send text messages silently <laughs> than it is for me to uh, to make dials. <clears throat> but nonetheless, I have to send him my um, my text message, my video text message. It's not working the way I want it to. Marco, great speaking with you, great, and this morning, uh, great speaking with you this morning.
with you tomorrow at 7. Uh, we do. That's nice. Uh, uh, uh. Have a great, have a amazing day. Hi, Marco. Great speaking with you this morning. I'll have a price analysis emailed as soon as possible and look forward to meeting with you tomorrow at 7. Blah, 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 blah. Feel free to reach out sooner if I can be of any further assistance. Have an amazing day. All right. And now we're back on the Mojo Dialer. Uh, so, appointment 7, uh, 11, 7. So, uh, sent text, send CMN. Okay. All right, now I'm back on the dialer. Entire list. All this let where I last started off. <clears throat> so there are only 17 left to dial, and one good appointment in there. So <clears throat> all right, I'm back. I'm back, bitches. Your touch came from. Please enter your PIN number. Your PIN number can be found in the dialing box. You are now logged into the Mojo Dollar. Please press the start button on your screen to begin calling. Blam! All right. So that one I don't want to speak to because I just spoke to. <clears throat> Hello, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm, I'm disconnecting on you because uh, you're an Ibis. <laughs> and I don't want to talk to Ibis. Brett Ratkowski, what's going on, my man? Good to see you out there in the ether. Actually, I don't see you at all, but you see me. <laughs> We're doing big things. We're getting shit done. We got... 24 records to dial. We got one appointment for tomorrow already. I am fired up. And uh, I don't want to get too... Um, ooh, this is Canyon Trails. This is my neighborhood. Come on, Craig, answer the phone. Hello, this is Chris Igo. Hey, it's Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing was canceled in the MLS. I was curious... How on earth did the property not sell? Can you just call me like three minutes ago? I did not. But did. but but just so you know, you, 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 you yeah, no doubt. Listen, you, you're. Just right there. Oh, you just take me out hey, do me a favor. Put your guns back in your holster. I'm not. I'm not trying to harass you in any way, shape, or form. I did notice that you're, and I'm glad that you got it rented. Yes, please. Please put your guns back in your holster. I'm not selling anything. You're a customer, not that, and you work for what, Remax? What I, I, I sure do. That's that's exactly right. I do. I work in my own office. Which, which Remax? Which I'm, Remax? I'm with Remax Direct. Yeah, but I, I own my. I have my own subdivision with that. I'm I go Home Group, and I'm also your neighbor in Canyon Trail. So if you you know want to come over, uh, I've I've got coffee brewing. So my my question uh, was. I'm good. I, I, I rented. I rented. Not great, so I appreciate your time. Fantastic. Great Have an amazing day. 
Well, Craig, you can put your guns back in your holster. Um, <laughs> he also calmed down when I let him know I was his neighbor. But congratulations, you got your property rented. But don't sass talk me. Now let's go. Um, all right, so contact. <clears throat> so here's my point with that. If somebody's pushing back and talking to you like you're a little bitch, don't take it. I didn't say anything rude or disrespectful. I told him to relax. And, um, and you have to do that. So I think that's critical in terms of getting control of a conversation. Now, that... Hello, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing was canceled in the MLS. I was curious. Okay, Chris, Chris. Yep. Oh. Okay, so Chris, Chris. Okay, hold, hold on. You can send me whatever you want to send me. I'm getting bombarded by... Oh, people. my goodness. I... Yeah, yeah. Well, well, put your guns back in your holster. Put your gun. Hey, then hang up. Relax. Relax. Deep breath. <laughs> oh, man. So, look, this is... Uh, <clears throat> it's So, if you'll notice, at 7.30 when I started dialing, there wasn't much resistance. At 7.59, there's a lot of resistance. And you notice the last two dialers or the last two dials, they were like, I've gotten tons of phone calls. Did I call them already? No, I did not call them. But every other jackass on the planet did, which is why you have to start dialing earlier. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll get right on sending you something. But um, all right. That was a contact. <coughs> In fact, actually, I will get on sending you something. You will get my expired letter uh, soon. And so will the last guy. <laughs> So, but my point here is if somebody, look, I'm offering a very valuable service. I offer uh, a tremendous, hello? hello, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing was canceled in the MLS. I was curious, how on earth did the property not sell? Okay, I don't know who you're with because I'm getting like five phone calls before 8 o'clock a.m. Oh my goodness. And Okay, well, I'll, I'll take you off the list. I didn't realize that you were... First of all, are you even the homeowner? Do you own the home? Did you cancel the listing? Have you ever been in a Turkish prison? Ever seen a grown man naked? <laughs> ah, so this is the difference between um, 7.30 and 8 o'clock. <laughs> Um, all right, so bah, 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 contact, that was a contact, all right, and have fun with this, because it's fun, or at least <laughs> I think it's fun, yeah, dude, it's crazy, so <clears throat> the earliest I feel comfortable dialing is seven, um, you're going to piss off a lot of people. So what? Um, there will be people. The motivated seller that you connect with, the, the low-hanging fruit, and that's what this is. This is, this is the low-hanging fruit. You got to... Hi, this is Christine. I'm either away from my phone or I just can't get to it. So leave me a message and I'll give you a call back. Thanks. Nah, 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 nah. I'm not doing that. Um, but you want to connect with that low-hanging fruit and you want to be the first person to do that because if you are and you can uh execute and um and hello hello this is chris igo with remax i'm giving you a call i noticed your property listing had expired in the mls i was curious how on earth did the property not sell he hung up <laughs> let's you know what let's just call him back i think he's going to appreciate if i call him back he's going to say man that chris igo is tenacious <laughs> So I'm calling him right back. <clears throat> and he's going to be pissed. <laughs> I don't know why I do this to myself. It's not even a price point I want. <laughs> Hello, this is... <laughs> ah, he hung back up again. <clears throat> 
He hung up. All right, so contact next. <clears throat> yeah, double dials. The only thing better than a double dial is the triple dial, <laughs> which is almost as good as the quadruple dial. But in an effort to uh, be more effective earlier, I'm not going to entertain myself here. I'm going to uh, go to the next one. <clears throat> so there are seven left they do count as dials that is true in fact on days where I really just want to hit my, my number hello this is Chris Igo with Remax I'm giving you a call I noticed your property listing was cancelled in the MLS I was curious Okay, you hung up on me. I got to call you right back. <laughs> she hung up. <laughs> um, yeah, so I just will redial the same person 300 times and, <laughs> and hit my daily committed number. No. No, I don't do that. Hello, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed... <laughs> Hello. Hey, I got you. You got we're we're on the phone. Yep. Okay. W would you stop calling me, please? Oh uh, yeah. Well, I'm just real quick in closing. I I did notice that your property was <laughs> can't stop, won't stop. Uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. Um, Dolores, I will stop calling, but only if you ask me to stop calling. Not if you give me the silent click. The silent click receives a redial. Hello, this is Chris Igo. I don't want the emergency. <coughs> yeah, Brett, get some. I'll talk to you later. Hello, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing was canceled in the MLS. I was curious, how on earth did the property not sell? Well, I'll tell you why. It's completely overpriced. <laughs> Um, let's go next. Hello, this is Chris. Ask me the tone, and I'll get back to you. Oh, very nice. Okay. Hello, this is Chris Igo. Hello. With Hello, it's Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing had expired in the MLS. I was curious, how on earth did the property not sell? No, no, the property is with another broker. Oh, it's been relisted? Yes, it oh. was relisted, but he still listed. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, well, let me, uh, I'm curious. It, 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 it's actually coming up as an expired listing in the MLS today, and, and maybe you're going to relist yes, with him. Yes, that's... I don't know why, because I need to call it. But uh, I am going to fix that, that, that problem. Oh, okay. No, I'm just, while, while I have you on the phone, did you have any offers on the property while it was actually listed? I'm sorry, I, I, can you repeat, please? Yeah, sure. I'm curious. Did you have any offers on the property while it was listed? No, not now. Not now. Not now. Okay, that's, well, that's frustrating. I, I, I get that. Well, let me ask you this. If you knew absolutely for certain that by doing business with me, two things would happen. One, the property would sell. Two, you would end up with significantly more money, bottom line, than you could get any other way. Now, I know that's a big promise, but would you at least want to hear more about it? Be honest. Okay, thank you very, very much. But now we we are with another broker, so we cannot take another one. We oh. cannot broker the contract. Okay, well, just so you know, you're you're actually not. It's it expired last night, so you, you technically you don't have a broker right now, which is why I'm calling. Uh, but no, but no, 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 I have a broker. I have a broker. Oh, okay. My my husband is now talking to him because that's a surprise that everybody has called him. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, you made the hot list. Okay, well, listen, I, I appreciate your time. Have a great day. And, and just so you know, if there's ever anything I can do to help you out, if you need a second opinion on anything, feel free to reach out. Bring me up. <laughs> Bye. 
Yeah, oh, oh I, well, you know, the funny thing is, I didn't even know your property was listed, so I, I'm curious how it was actually marketed no, no. in the first place. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, I know I'm sure it is, okay. but my, you know, I'm, I looks like an amazing house. My concern about it is it wasn't. It is amazing house. Yeah, but if it's an amazing house, I uh, you're right, it is. But here's the thing: if nobody sees your listing, if the the right buyers don't see your listing, and the right agents don't see your listing, you're right. it's you're gonna right. be it's gonna be so hard to we sell. Are, we are going to fix that. Uh, we are well, going to fix, fix that. Uh, and the good news is you, you are correct. You have the solution on the phone. It's me. Just so you know, I'm with Remax Direct. We've got six offices down here in South Florida. We've sold 15,000 homes since 2008. We're averaging one a day. Obviously, I would love to lay eyes on your property and see if it's something we believe we can get you multiple offers on. Do you have availability this, okay. do you have availability this evening for me to come by and see the property? Not, not today. Thank you. Oh, I will okay. call you if, if, I, if I am interested, okay? That's perfect. Hey, the number that I called you on, is it your cell phone? Okay, I will keep it. Okay, perfect. I'll text you my contact information so that you have it. And again, if there's ever anything I can do, feel free that to reach out. That would be great. Okay, have a okay, great day. Bye-bye sure. now. Thank you. All right, bye-bye. I love you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, So that was a contact. That was a contact and a complete waste of time. But I enjoy pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Four three six five one six eight. I'm sorry, Mr. Call. Please leave your name. Hello, this is Chris. Hello. Hey, it's Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing was canceled. We're not interested. Goodbye. Oh, okay. I haven't said anything interesting yet. Um, I am curious, however, while you were listed, did you have any offers on the property? He hung up. Uh, <clears throat> so the good news is, and, and part of my process is when I, I call these people the first day, they hear my name. Um, I don't know how much they actually listen to, but they hear something. And within a day or two, hello, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing was canceled in the MLS. I was curious. <clears throat> um, but they're going to get a uh, an expired letter from me. And... I will relentlessly hound them until, until they cave. All right. And list with me or somebody else. All right. Contact. No, no contact. <clears throat> Hello. This is... Hey, it's Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing. Not what? my property. Not oh my property. man! Not All my right. Property, wrong number. Wow! I'll, I'll take you off the list. No problem. A quest question in closing: Do you happen to know anybody else out there thinking about buying or selling real estate that I might be able to help? Be honest. I live in Massachusetts. I do business in Massachusetts. Anybody up there looking to buy or no. sell? Okay. Well, have a phenomenal day, all right? I will. Bye-bye now. Have a phenomenal day. I love you. Mwah! <laughs> um, okay. So, 613. Let's take this one off the list. Uh, contact. Contact, but wrong number. <clears throat> and we are down to the final dial uh, of today's daily expires. It is 812, and today is a very good um, example of why you got to get on the phone early. Because if you don't, by 8 o'clock, these people are totally, they hate everyone. They, they're not taking, they're not receptive. They're not picking up the phone. They're picking up, well, they might pick up the phone, but they're furious. They've been hit three or, 
just think about this. You're selling your home. Your property is, it doesn't sell and it's now expired or canceled or whatever. So you're already pissed off. And the next morning, starting at some ridiculous hour, you're getting relentlessly assaulted by strangers. So 10, 20, 30, 50, 100 dials. By the time, you know, if, if you're not number one or number, if you're not in the top three, and I really think the top two, but realistically, if you're not the first person to dial, you, you're just, you're just going to get abused. And so that's, that's why it's really important to be early um, and then follow up because they do, they do rejuvenate themselves after they get beat down for a while. Um, like the older expires do, <clears throat> they do come back to life. You just have to continue to, to dial and stay in front of them. So, um, well, according to this, I've got one more. Where's the last record? Come on. Come on, Mojo. Don't get glitchy on me. All right. I'm trying again. Start power dialer. There will be one record sent. Daniel White. I know a Daniel White. I don't believe that's his number. But if it is, this is going to be an interesting conversation. Hello, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing had expired in the MLS. I was curious, how on earth did the property not sell? I don't know. It just hasn't. Oh, okay. I, well, I do. There's three reasons why properties don't sell, and you probably know all of them. First one is price, uh, obviously. Second is the condition of the property. And then third would be the way the property is marketed. Now, it looks like you were on the market for about 179 days. Did you have any offers on the property while it was listed? No. Okay. Uh, were you getting, in terms of feedback, did you have any feedback as it related to the condition of the property? No, people like the, uh, the, the condition of the property. The only, uh, the only comment that we got Okay. So if you had sold the property, where would you have gone next? Uh, probably to uh, the same area, but something smaller. Okay. Well, let me ask you this. If, if you knew absolutely for certain that by doing business with me, two things would happen. One, the property would sell. Two, you'd end up with significantly more money, bottom line, than you could get any other way. Now, I know that's a big promise, but would you at least want to hear more about it? Be honest. Yeah, I'm, I'm with, just so you know, I'm with Remax Direct. We've got six offices down here in South Florida. We've sold 15,000 homes since 2008. We're averaging one a day. What I'd like to do if it meets with your approval, I'd like to run an analysis as it relates to price and email that to you. What's your best email address? Okay, super. And the number that I called you on, is it your cell phone? It is. Okay, cool. So what I'll do when we get off the phone, I'm going to text you my contact information so that you have it. If you would, please be kind enough to save it in your phone. I'd appreciate it. I am sure you will get bombarded by other realtors. I want you to remember who I am when I call you back. In addition to that, I will run an analysis as it relates to price. I'll email that to you. You'll have that this afternoon. Ideally, what I'd like to do, I'd like to lay eyes on the property and see if it's something we believe we can get you multiple offers on. Do you have availability tomorrow, uh, mid-morning or afternoon, for me to do that? Uh, I'd have to talk to them. I'd have to talk to my wife. I, I, I don't want to do that. No, okay. If, if, 
if you did um, have time, would it typically be in the uh, the evening or afternoon? Evening? Okay. Um, so here's what I'm going to propose and just follow my thinking because I do a high volume business. I honestly, I, I want to ensure that I've got the, uh, the availability um, to allocate some time for you. So here's my proposal. Um, I, I'll block out a, uh, a period of time on Thursday evening. And uh, in the interim, I'll email you my analysis and all that good stuff. You can talk to your wife. If the time doesn't work, we can always move it around and reschedule. That's not an issue. But would it be okay tentatively for me to put you down for uh, 7 o'clock on Thursday? Yeah, I mean, if you want. Okay. Perfect. Again, so, you know, look, I, I now let me ask you this. If you were on the market just under 700000 what do you believe a buyer would pay for your property? I, I, I don't know. Uh, I, we haven't gotten an offer, so I, I don't know. Okay. All right. Well, listen, I, I appreciate you being so candid with me. Let me ask you this. When I do sell the property and get you more money than you ever thought possible, will you do an amazing testimonial and tell everybody what a great job I did? Awesome. Awesome. I appreciate that. Okay. So just so there's no misunderstanding, when I get off the phone, I'm going to text you my contact information so that you have it. Again, please save it in your phone. I will email you a full property analysis uh, so you have that too. You'll have that this afternoon. Um, I will block out 7 p.m. on Thursday uh, for you, and then tentatively I will lock that down. I will confirm that with you um, Thursday morning just so there's no confusion and we're all on the same page. Is that good? Uh, sure. Outstanding. I appreciate your time, and if there's anything I can do in the interim, feel free to reach out, okay, my friend? All right. Have a great day. Bye. All right. So. Your polling session is now complete. All records have been called. So two appointments. The last one was a little bit more iffy, in my opinion. And uh, honestly, I would. What's today? Today's Tuesday. Wednesday. Oh, actually, Thursday's not bad. Um, but I'm going to have to reconfirm with him to ensure that's a good one. Um, but that's it. There was what? 20, I think there were 24 records to dial, two appointments set. Um, let's see what that looks like from a, a dial perspective. Ah, if I had to guess, there's... Um, uh, if I had to guess, out of 24 records, I probably dialed the phone like 50 times, give or take. So let's just analyze that real quick while I've while you're here ah almost dead on the nose so uh, 49 dials 12 contacts two appointments anybody who tells you that cold calling doesn't work doesn't know shit <laughs> so there you go go out there get some um, make it a great day look out for my uh, podcast interview with Josh if there's anything uh, I can do as it relates to um, if there's anything I can do to, I, I, I got caught in my own fucking sales pitch. <laughs> if there's anything I can do to help, feel free to reach out. You know where to find me. Have a great day.